Hello again everyone and in this video we're going to continue with our interactions using some of the stuff that we've learned. Uh, in this one we're going to create a ladder uh, and what this ladder is going to do is going to operate off of triggers. Uh, when the player moves into the trigger we are then going to restrict its movement to within that trigger and make it so that it can only move up while it's inside of it. Um, and as it's moving up, when it gets to the top and it moves out of the trigger, it should land on the platform. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we need to do. We need to create some sort of um, placeholder for a ladder uh, inside of our scene. So what I'm going to do is create a 3D object and a cube. And I'm just going to move this thing around and we're going to scale this. So I'm going to scale it this way scale it this way and then scale it up so we get a nice little vertical monolith here and then what I'm going to do is just like we did with the platform right I'm going to add a box collider to this so I'm going to add another box collider where is physics box collider and then I'm going to edit this box collider. I'm going to turn it to a trigger and I'm going to move it outward here. So it's out in front of the ladder. Okay, and this is going to be the space that when our pl player controller is inside of it, um, we're just going to move up. And I'm just going to move it so it's slightly above the ladder. Okay. Um, so I'm going to rename this cube. I'm going to call him Ladder. And one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a platform at the top here that we can identify with. So I'm going to take this platform and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'll just call this ladder platform. So this will be what we land on uh, when we get to the top here. So I'm going to move this over. Move it up. So that's above here. And I just want to line this up like that. And uh, maybe scale it out a little bit in this direction here. So we got something to kind of stand on when we get to the top. All right, so I have the ladder platform created. Um, I can parent this to the ladder. So it's part of the ladder. And uh, if I select the whole ladder object, you see it kind of gets composed like this. All right, so what we need to do now is create a script. So uh, with my scripts folder selected, I'll right click uh, and go to create C sharp script. And I'll call this ladder script. And um, Real quickly before I move on, I'm just going to make sure I save this scene. All right. Okay, so I've got the ladder script created. I guess we can start coding it now. Let's go over here um, and open it up. And um, basically, this is going to sit on the ladder. And we're going to grab the player when it moves into the trigger and make it so that it can only move up and down within that trigger. All right, so the first thing we need to do is create a transform for the player controller. So public transform, and I'll call this player controller. Uh, next, we will have a Boolean. This could be private, so we'll just set it to bool. And uh, this is going to be called inside ladder. Uh, the next thing will be whatever our ladder height is or whatever we want the height to be. Um, this is going to be a public float and uh, I'll call this ladder height and uh, we'll give this a default value of 3.3f. This seems to be the value that works the best for, for what I built here. And um, we're also going to grab the um, input controller. So um, 
I forget, what did we name the um, input controller on our player character? Player controller. All right, so we could just grab that script. So let's go over here and um, we'll say public um, player controller and we will call this player input. So we're going to use this to be able to de dis disable the script that's running on the, um, the player controller. All right, so uh, first thing we'll do is um, we'll say uh, input, or is it player input, which I didn't spell right, player input. And uh, I'm going to set this equal to um, get component. Uh, player controller. And um, the next thing we'll do is um, grab the ladder variable, so the inside ladder. And set that equal to false. All right, so um, we're going to need a couple of functions for on trigger enter and on trigger exit. So I'll just add those in. On trigger enter, trigger exit. And we're going to look for the object that's tagged as the ladder. So we'll say if, I'm going to change these to call just to simplify it a little bit. So if call dot um, game object dot tag is equal to ladder. Then what we'll do is we will uh, basically take the player input dot enabled and set it to false. After we do that, we will set inside ladder uh, to be equal to whatever is the opposite of inside ladder at that point, just to toggle it. Now, what we should be able to do is just copy this if statement or condition, put it into here, um, set this to true, and then just leave the toggle the way it is. So the last part of this would be in the update function. We will then um, check to see if we were inside the ladder during the update. Um, so if we're inside the ladder and so your sign your sign um input dot get key is w all right so if we're pressing on w uh, what we will then do is tell the player controller, right? So we'll say player controller dot transform dot position will add to it um, vector three dot up divided by our ladder height. And I get a comma instead of a dot there. All right. So I should be able to save this now. 
and let's head back over to Unity and I'm going to add the ladder script to the player controller and I'm going to select the ladder and create a new tag here and this new tag will be called ladder and then what we'll do is we'll go back to the ladder and tag it as ladder all right and I think that'll be it if I go back to the player I don't think there's anything I need to fill in here I can drag the player controller into itself here if I'd like to and I'm gonna move the player controller to the other side so I don't have to jump across the platform to get there to test this all right so if I move over and I go up there I am at the top of my ladder if I go down you just go back up again. <laughs> so you need to build it so that you can go back down again uh, if you'd like to be able to go back down the ladder. So here I am at my ladder, and I'm back at the top, climbed up the top. If I go down, go up the ladder, look around, there we go. Pretty cool, right? So basically what's happening is the collider keeps it in here, and I can look around, see, oh, I'm halfway up the ladder. Oh, oh now I'm at the top. All right, so um, that's easy way to create a ladder um, in your game. And uh, you can expand the functionality of this to be able to go back down and, and so forth. Or if you only want it to work with a specific key when you mount it, um, there's a whole bunch of things that you could do with this. Cool, so I will see you in the next video.